What's up everybody? It's your boy Pokemon Joe back with another Pokemon Go news video and before I get into that I want to tell you guys go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and uh, I do want to make the announcement I now have an Instagram. It's going to be Real Pokemon Joe, all lowercase, all one word. Real Pokemon Joe. No underscores, no spaces, no dots, just Real Pokemon Joe on Instagram. Go ahead and hit that and follow me guys and uh, I'm new to the whole Instagram thing. I don't have a Twitter account or Snapchat or TikTok or none of that. I'm 37 years old. I remember when MySpace was a thing and AOL first came out. Yes, I am that old. So anyways, guys, uh, I do want to go ahead and get in this news before I bore you so you can follow along right over here. And we have Unova's legendary elite, Rishiram, Zekrom, and Kiram coming to five-star raids. Originally discovered in the Unova region back in first... Well, yeah. Originally discovered in the Unova region and first met by trainers in Pokemon Black version and Pokemon White version, the legendary Pokemon Rishiram, Zekrom, and Kiram will soon be making their Pokemon Go debuts in 5 star raids. Be sure to have your remote raid passes stocked before Tuesday, May 26, 2020, when Rishiram, the vast white Pokemon, will be the first of Unova's legendary elite to arrive in Pokemon Go. From Tuesday, May 26, 2020, at 1 p.m., to Tuesday, June 16th at 1 p.m., there will be five-star raids featuring Rishiram. In addition, there will also be raid hour featuring Rishiram every Wednesday while it's in the five-star raids. So Wednesday the 27th, Wednesday, June 3rd, Wednesday, June 10th, all those dates between 6 and 10, they're all on Wednesday at your local time. Uh, you can actually have the Rishiram raid hour. So uh, go ahead and get your groups together, whether it's remotely or all together. And uh, let's, uh, if you go back up here, you can see this little uh, blue part where it says the legendary Pokemon Rishiram, Zekrom, and Kiram. If you click on that, it's actually a YouTube video. I'll link to it in the bottom. It's from Niantic, and it just introduces uh, the three Pokemon that are coming to the game, the legendaries that are coming. Mythicals? I don't remember. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into some information for uh, Rishiram. The, le the legendary Pokemon in Legendary Raids is going to be Rishiram from dates and times, May 26th, 1 p.m. to Pacific Standard Time, or Daylight Time, to June 16th, 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. That's two days after my birthday. Uh, it's going to be in windy and sunny weather. It's going to be 2,771 2, to 2,884, with 2,884 being perfect IVs. And if it's non-sunny or non-windy, it's going to be 2217 to 2307. 2307 being your perfect IVs. Now, Reshiram is a dragon and fire type. As a raid boss, his CP will be 53,394. Which if you have two 40, level 40 players that have uh, pretty hyped up stuff, including Rayquaza and Ramparados and Haxorus, uh, things like that you can probably take it down with just two people but if you have like level 36s and 37s you're gonna want between four and six just depending on how good their pokemon are um it's weak to dragon fire and rock with that being a dragon and a fire type that's naturally i'm sorry it's weak to dragon ground and rock i was looking at it I was like what that's not a fire symbol why would it be weak to fire if it's a fire type it's weak to dragon ground and rock and uh, your best counters, meaning time to win, is going to be um, Rayquaza with Dragon Tail and Outrage, Ramparados with Smackdown and Rock Slide, Haxorus with Dragon Tail and Dragon Claw, and Dialga with Dragon Breath and Draco Meteor, Salamance with Dragon Tail and Outrage, and Rhyperior with Mud Slap and Rock Wrecker, which was his community day move. Um, now, you got to be careful with these because in the event that your Rishiram has Dragon's Breath and Draco Meteor, which is the move set, which is a move set it could have, uh, fast moves it can have Dragon's Breath or Fire Fang, charge moves it can have Draco Meteor, Overheat, Stone, Head, Stone Edge, or Crunch. And if it has Dragon's Breath and Draco Meteor, if you have Rayquaza, Haxorus, Dialga, or Salamance, um, all, you can't see my hands, I just realized that, I'm doing this. <laughs> so if you have them, they're all Dragon types, and they're all going to be weak to Dragon as well. So just keep that in mind, that they could lose DPS based on how fast they're being taken out. So, you know, your Rhyperior might not do as much damage, 
but he might stay in longer. So if you're just looking for a quick kill, then I would suggest to have a whole team of nothing but Rayquaza, Dialga, and Salamance, and just go to town with your Dragon Tails and Outrage and Dragon Breath and Draco Meteor. So, you know, you just take on that, and you and another two or three people just power through, and if you have six of them, that'd be great. It's probably your best bet. So go ahead and take care of that. I do want to thank Couple of Gaming for the, on Instagram for the uh, graphic. I have no clue how they do it, but it's almost like they work for Niantic because as soon as Niantic drops the thing that says they're coming, all of a sudden there's already a graphic from Couple of Gaming on Instagram that has all the information you'll need. So go ahead and follow them on Instagram and uh, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Or you can just, you know, follow my channel on YouTube here and I'll keep you updated with all the latest information. But I want to say thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Most importantly, tell your friends. And I love all of you and I will see you all in the next one. One other quick note, guys. I do want to let you know that in Pokemon Sword and Shield, we can now get Gigantam Gigantamax Eevee. So if you don't already have one, here's your chance to get them. But it's only until May 25th.